Artificial intelligence. What exactly is artificial intelligence? In this video, we will talk more about what artificial intelligence is. Well, some examples of this in your everyday life is whenever you talk to Siri on your phone or your parents phone, or you talk to Alexa, or you go on to Netflix and you look at the recommendations or YouTube and look at the recommendations for your videos that are up next or you watch the news and see the weather. AI is used to predict the weather. If your parents have a Roomba at home who goes and vacuums your floor, that's a perfect example of AI as well. Before we kind of go really deep into what AI is exactly, let's take a step back and talk about what intelligence is. So I want you to think about the smartest people that you know of, like maybe you're thinking about Albert Einstein, Benjamin Franklin, or Leonardo da Vinci. These people were really, really smart and intelligent in their fields and able to come up with some really, really amazing inventions for our society today. And we wouldn't be the same without them. And so what makes these people intelligent, right? Well, what is intelligence exactly? Well, there's a lot of different definitions out there. And psychologists argue all the time about what the exact definition of intelligence is. And I really feel that one of the most important ones, and many scientists agree, that the ability to learn is one of the most important parts of intelligence. Because if you're able to learn anything, you are then able to do everything else. How does this exactly relate to AI? Well, we have the second part of artificial intelligence. We know about intelligence now. The fact that it's the ability to learn is one of the most important parts of intelligence. And then artificial meaning man-made. So this is when the computer does the thinking. How does it exactly work? Well, before computers, you used to have to be very, very particular with them. You had to be very exact. You had to give it specific instructions and then they would perform the task. So if you've ever programmed a Sphero, or had Lego Mindstorms where you had a little computer that you were programming the robot to move forward one spot on, and then turn right 90 degrees and then move forward one spot and things like those are exactly what it used to be like very hard coded. It was very strict and rigid so that the computer had to follow the exact instructions from to go from one step to the next. Well, AI is different than that. Because what it says is that we give the computer a goal, we say, Okay, we want you to reach the end of the table, or we want you to put that ball into that container over there. Or we tell it that, hey, we want you to find out how many miles the diameter of the earth is from millions of different websites. What AI does is say, okay, I have this goal in mind. I am going to find out how many miles the diameter of the earth is. That is its goal. And what it's going to do is it's going to go out there and search and find out what the diameter of the earth is from millions of different websites. How it does that is it takes a bunch of data. It uses all the data that it's known in the past and says, okay, all of these websites, they have stuff about the earth and it divides and it filters out everything else that doesn't have to do with the earth. And then it's going to go farther and farther down with that and filtering out more and more websites until it finds your answer. And it's able to do this in fractions of a second, right? Whereas a human would have to go through all of those websites. It would take years for them just to whittle down to the fact that all of these websites contain information about the earth. And then it would take more time just to whittle it down farther than that. So with AI, it's really great because it can go in, do things that would take us an extreme amount of time. And there's nothing to fear with AI. There has been a bunch of Hollywood movies that make out that AI is going to take over the world. And, and it's really not like that. AI is here to help make our lives easier, keep us safe from hurricanes and tornadoes, and make life more enjoyable like giving us a good recommendation for a movie that we can watch tonight so that we're not watching the same movie every single night having a little bit more fun in our lives. So I would like for you to try out an experiment. Search for something into YouTube or into Google like artificial intelligence. Why not? And have your friend do the same thing and then compare your results. I bet you you will find that the ads between your two computers are going to be different or the search results themselves are going to be different. So try it out yourself. Do a little experimenting. 
and I hope to see you next time.